good morning. So I have something in front of me. I'm really careful normally not to let happen to my jewelry and our customer's jewelry. But in the move, I dropped a necklace in the bottom of a bag thinking it won't tangle. Yeah, it does. So I'm gonna show you how to get your chain out of a knot without yanking it and breaking it. So you take the knot and you roll it between your fingers. Roll, 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 and it should loosen up. And then if you need, if it doesn't loosen a ton, you can take your ear wire and work like start pulling the loose areas. Not loose enough. I got a nice freaking knot there. The hell was I thinking? Another thing you can do if you know how, you can actually cut the chain and reattach the chain and just like get rid of the knot, kind of like you would in a bad wire if you needed to splice. My daddy taught me how to do that. And so it's not gonna, as you can see it, you're not just gonna go boop and it's untangled. Sometimes that happens nicely. Of course, because I want to show you, it doesn't, but if I showed you and it seemed that easy and it wasn't that easy for you, you might think it's not going to work. So roll it, roll it. You should be able to feel that chain moving in your fingers. And then take your ear wire. It's a nice freaking jumble. Lesson learned. I've had a few lessons on this move where I thought, oh, I can just do that shortcut. Shortcuts are not usually worth it, friends. And of course my brain says, well, I can just go grab another chain, but no, I wanna fix this one. Come on. Take my ear wire. Loosen it up. Work with me, baby. Come on. Talking to the chain helps too. Because, you know, you got to like show it some love. I got some of the knot. So this is like more than a normal knot I got going here. What you don't want to do is use any kind of oil on it. I had somebody who used to work for Sedalia Designs take some tangled chains home and fix them for me. And she came back and said, oh, I found this awesome thing. I put olive oil on them. Ruined every freaking chain. They will tarnish. So you don't want to do that. So it's getting better. It really is. This is a tiny chain, so you can't even get this in the links. What I'm trying to do is get this between the length of chain when it loosens. And that's where I'm struggling. I've gotten it smaller, but I'm not able to get into this final knot. So 
You just keep massaging it. Oh, you like the massage? Oh, you come and work with me. You like a top secret massage. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice cluster. A nice cluster. actually just kind of like a pretzel knot now just tied through I've worked out some of the other stuff but this is what's gotta loosen because I've got it to loop the chain through as I'm sitting here working up a sweat Yeah, this is crazy. I think I'm getting there. I feel some links loose. Come on, baby, work with me. Come on, come to mama. So I've gotten this loose enough to get, come on, don't go back. Don't give up on us, baby. You might have to sing to your jewelry. You don't have to sing on key even, jewelry doesn't care. So I've got that in there. This actually takes way more patience than I normally have. Okay, but I've got it loose. Hold on loosely. Don't let it go. Oh, it is almost there. Come on, babykins. I feel you're working with me now, mama. I could use stronger glasses would help too. Oh, yes. Score, she wins, ha ha, ha ha ha, no broken chain. Okay, so there we go. We have our chain with no damage because we didn't pull on it. We massaged it, ooh, double secret. And then I can put on my bullet cross and be on my merry little flipping way.
Yes. And the earrings that match. That save the day with the chain. My nice allergies I got going, sniffles. I'm almost ready for my day. There you go. Lesson in not breaking a chain that has a knot in it. 10 minutes. That's all it took. 10 minutes.